Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to import and export quotations in sales module. Quotations are imported and exported in Odoo 17 for several reasons depending on the specific use case, like sharing the quotations with the customers, bulk creations or the updates. Like exporting a quotations allow you to create a document that you can send to the customer for review. And once the customer provide the uh, feedbacks or make any changes, you can just import the modified quotation back into the Odoo to update the original record. If you would need to create a large number of quotations quickly, you can import the data from a CSV or Excel file containing the necessary information. This saves the time compared to manually entering each quotation individually. Now let's check how can we import and export the quotations in Odoo 17 sales module. So for that, you can just move on to the sales module. So this shows all the uh, quotations that are currently available in the Odoo platform. Now uh, to manage with the quotations or to just export the quotation, you can just move on to the gear icon and here you can find um, export all so that the uh, quotations that are available in the Odoo platform will be just exported and now let's review the file. Currently you can see that we have just exported a quotation file and uh, you can see all the quotations that were available in the Odoo platform. But while importing uh, the quotations, we actually do not require all these fields like the action needed, uh, the other fields like creation date um, and activity. There are many fields that we actually do not require. So let's see how can we manage with importing. So in order to import the records, you can just back to the uh, order platform and here you can choose one of the record uh, from this list. And as we have just selected a quotation, you can see a button called action will be triggered here. And uh, you can just click on export. And here you can see that the available fields on the uh, left side and the fields to export is on the right side. And we can just export the data in different formats such as XLS and CSV format. And if you enable this, I want to update the data, import compatible export. And this has got many advantages like this would give the external ID and you can just make changes using the external IDs also. And uh, you can import the data without duplications and Odoo will automatically map the file column with the Odoo field. So if you want to go with this, you can just enable that. Uh, so the fields appear on the fields to export will be changing over here. So actually I don't require this uh, import compatible export and here you can see a uh, field uh, to set the templates. So templates are nothing but uh, they would allow you to group the uh, field into a particular template uh, so that you could use this template at any time uh, so that you do not uh, manually or intuitively manage the fields at every time when you want to do, want to just import the records. So here uh, let's choose the quotation as the um, yeah template and we require certain fields such as the reference number of the quotation then customer name as well as the product in the uh, I mean uh, the product we require and we also want the description as well as the product quantity and here you can see there are two quantities so let's remove one of the quantity uh, from here so let me remove uh, the quantity over here and here you can find the order lines uh, that provide the total. So if you want to get the total and all, you can set that. So actually, Odo will automatically calculate the total. We don't need to separately give the total field. So let me remove that also. And you can see the units of measurement and unit price over here. So this is the template that we are going to just export. So you can just click on export. Uh, later on, you can just close this uh, wizard. And here we are going to just manipulate the data and going to import the records into the audio platform. So let's view the file. Here you can just uh, change the order reference. So let me change the order reference as 50, where you can just provide the name of the customer. So let's uh, provide the name of the customer as, uh, yeah, Johnny is the name of the customer. So he require um, the product Samsung S24 so here I'm going to just give the product as Samsung S24 
and here you can just change the description as um, cell phone then you can just provide the quantity over here so let's change the quantity into uh, five and it has a units of measure of units and you can see the unit price over here so let's change the unit price uh, of the product as $200 later on you can just save the file so here we are gonna just upload the file right now to the Udo platform so here to upload the file or to import the records you can just move on and um, I mean we have to first uncheck the uh, record that we have selected from the list and we can just go to the gear icon and click on import record this would allow you to upload the record now you can just upload the record and let's open that and you can see that uh, the fields such as the sales order customer uh, then product description product quantity units of measure and unit price everything is added over here now let's test the file whether it has any um, blocking errors or not so here you can see that no matching record for found for the following name customer Johnny as we don't have a customer Johnny in the Odo platform this would create a error message uh, which means the value doesn't match with the uh, Odo field doesn't match with the file column so in such cases we need to create a new value so you can just create a, a new value to match with uh, uh, the file column and uh, Odo field and here you can see that no matching record found for Samsung S24 because we don't have a product uh, called Samsung S24 in the Odo platform. So in such cases, we need to create a new product. So you can just set it as create new value. Later on, you can just click uh, test again and you can see that everything seems to be valid. And you can just click on import so that the record will be imported. And you can find that the um, record has imported over here which shows the uh, reference number, customer name, the creation date, salesperson, and the total and all. Total will be automatically calculated by Odo. As you can see that the quantity is uh, 5 and the unit price is 200. Odo will just multiply that and you can see the tax excluded price and you can also get the untaxed amount and all other details. So it's very easy to manage the importing and exporting of quotations in Odo 17 sales module. Uh, so I hope this video clarifies how to use the um, quotation or importing and exporting of quotations in Odo 17 sales. Uh, so if you want Odo customization or um, require any Odo related videos, feel free to contact Cybrosis. Thank you for watching the video.